The 20-foot-tall Beacon Inflatable Light Tower provides brilliant illumination while at the same time lifting an antenna or surveillance camera. Its portability and ease of use make it a valuable tool for any nighttime operation. In this video, we'll watch a tower being deployed in an auditorium so you can see how it's done. And then we'll turn off the house lights so you can see just how bright it is. The Beacon 20 comes with a sturdy shoulder bag and can be carried and deployed by one person in minutes. Built-in steel legs swing out to provide a stable base. You can add sandbags or other weights to the legs for stability, or you can use the stakes that come with the tower. Here you see the operator attach a control rope to the tower. Using this, he can easily guide the ascent of the payload and the light as the tower inflates. About midway down the tower, you'll find the zipper for the bulb compartment. Bulb is stored in a foam bag for protection. It should always be stored in this bag. Reach inside into the cage and screw in the bulb. Scissor open the cage. Zip the tower back up and close the flap. Near the base of the tower, you'll find the main deflation zipper behind a Velcro flap. Zip that closed and then close the flap securely. Your tower is now ready for inflation. Plug in the black cord. Be sure to be near the control rope. Do not plug in the plug with the yellow end. That is for the light and it must be plugged in after the tower is fully inflated. The operator holds back on the control rope, gradually letting it out as the tower inflates. Less than 35 seconds after plugging the fan in, the tower is set up and ready for action. Now it's time to plug in the powerful 1000 watt metal halide lamp. It will take about three minutes for it to completely warm up. And when it does, your area will be illuminated with the equivalent of about 65 incandescent light bulbs. Here you see the auditorium completely lit by just this light tower. And Jeff will turn it off. Now with the house lights back on, we'll watch a deflation. Always turn off your light seven minutes before deflation to allow it time to cool. After opening the zipper slightly to lower the pressure, the operator pulls down the top of the tower. At about the halfway point, the blower is unplugged. As it deflates, continue to guide it down until it's completely flat on the ground. Now the operator can open the main deflation zipper at the base of the tower. He opens the bulb compartment zipper to remove the bulb for safe travel. The included foam case will keep it safe and ready for your next deployment. Now it's time to simply return it to its travel case. It's best to pile it up on top of itself to push the air out. 
Pull the travel bag over the top of the pile. Now, flip it upside down and close the steel legs. In less than five minutes, your beacon tower is packed up and ready for the road.